Hey guys, Brady's mom here, and let me tell you, do I have a story for you. Um, as most of you know, Lily Pulitzer collaborated with Target, and this has been marketed for the past few months, and I've been so excited about it, I had no idea what to expect. Um, but my mom and I actually went this morning, which is Sunday, really early to Target. It opened at 8, and we got there about 7.30, thinking there would be a few people there. Let me tell you how wrong I was. We pulled in at 7.30, it was raining. There was probably two to 300 people in line wrapped around the side of the building waiting to get in. Some that we found out had been there since two or three o'clock in the morning, which is crazy to me. And everybody was vicious and snippy and like tense. It was not really a fun experience. So we ended up pretty far back in the line. Like I said, there were a couple hundred people ahead of us. At eight o'clock when they opened the doors, Everybody bum rushed each other like jumping hurdles over each other pushing and shoving and like throwing elbows at each other To get in people were literally grabbing entire racks and Displays of Lily Pulitzer stuff and like throwing it in their cart I thought that was completely ridiculous and unfair that people were literally going like this and clearing out the whole rack of stuff Not even looking at it just taking it and being greedy. I did not like that feeling People were pushing me physically and shoving me, and I just didn't like it. So to make a long story short, once we actually got in, everything was wiped out. Every rack, there was not one single thing at all. Every rack was completely naked. So my mom and I were kind of like, oh, this stinks, and I was just so shocked by the behavior of these people because it's just clothes. Yes, I was disappointed because I wanted some particular things, but I wasn't about to start pushing and shoving people and acting like a three-year-old. So we actually lucked out and were patient, and what was happening is the people that were hoarding everything, they were going in the fitting room and trying everything on in the whole cart, and the things that either didn't fit or they didn't like or whatever the case may be were being put back on the display racks and the display shelves. So me and my mom had to stand by the racks with about 50 to 100 other people. Luckily, I got in really close and just stood my ground there. And I was able to get some really nice things. Um, so I am really grateful. And honestly, if I had only gotten one thing, I still would have been grateful. I just didn't anticipate that it was going to be like this. So after that being said, I want to show you guys what I did end up getting. And then talk about some things that I wish I could have gotten, but I didn't. But like I said, I'm just grateful that I got something at all. Um, but these, the people today really took it way too serious. So the first thing I got that I actually wanted to get when I saw it on the Target Lily lookbook was this here, which is just a travel kind of makeup organizer. This is definitely 1950s inspired. And the prints just look like that. And it has a zipper, two zippers that zip all the way down. And the inside looks like that. It does have the gussets on, side with the uh, on the sides with the lining. The lining feels like a satiny, silky texture. And it's sort of like a lime coconut, kind of tropical greenish sort of a look. And it does have two organizational pockets here and then one zippered pocket there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I really was happy at, that I got this. I actually got this in a swap. People were grabbing things and then approaching other people to swap and I actually had gotten a blue printed scarf that someone approached me and asked me to trade for this which I was happy to do because I this is one of the things that I wanted so that is the first thing that I was able to get on a swap uh, I got two pairs of flip-flops I did not get the ones I originally wanted which were the starfish ones but I did get the pineapple flip-flops which hopefully you guys can see um, and they just have a little itty bitty heel, not really a heel, it's just a little bit raised. Um, I guess that's the right word, they're not completely flat. Um, I tried them on, they seem pretty comfortable, but if I find that they're really not comfortable at all, I have no problem just returning them. I just wanted to grab them and kind of bring them home, because if I had it, somebody would have snatched these up in a heartbeat. So I got those. Um, also for price points, guys, this bag was $29.99 which I thought was a decent price, considering that anything Lily Pulitzer um, is pretty pricey. It's definitely considered a lifestyle brand. And these flip-flops or these sandals were $30. 
which if they something like this had been sold exclusively through Lily, I would think they would be probably closer to $80 or $90. I also got these flip-flops here, which I like that the bottom part, the sole is the Lily print with a gold, um, kind of a metallic-y gold strap. These were $16 which I didn't think was, you know, that bad, but you're really paying for the brand name. And then again, these, I feel like if they were sold through Lily exclusively, they would be probably closer to 50 or 60, just because again, it's a lifestyle brand. Uh, I purchased this bathing suit, which I didn't try on because the fittings room, fitting rooms were mobbed. It's a medium, so I don't know if it's going to fit because um, of my chest. Usually I need a large on top, and then on the bottom I can usually do like a small. So I went with a medium because it was the only opportunity I had to grab one. And the suit looks like this. It actually has the option to do the straps. You can configure the strap around the neck, so it's nice that it has that option. And then the back looks like this. Again, I haven't tried it on, so I don't know how it will look on but I thought that was really cute, and like I said, I kind of seized the opportunity. This was $40, and I feel like something like this through Lily would be at least $100, um, and it's kind of just blue and white with that pink on top, and then the pink optional strap, so hopefully that will work out. If not, I will return it. I also was able to snag this dress. Um, it was $30, it is a medium, and it just looks like this. It has like a ruffle detail around the whole top part back as well with the uh, spaghetti straps and it does have like a ruched you can probably see it better here like a ruched waistline I wasn't able to try this on in the store so hopefully it will look okay um, I really like the way that it looks and I think it's perfect for summer it has sort of a starfish and sand dollar printed kind of theme again this was $30 and Lily Pulitzer dresses are usually always a hundred to two hundred dollars so I feel like this was a really good price point for this. I actually thought the dresses were going to be a little bit more expensive. So um, as far as quality, definitely you can tell the quality is not as high of standards as Lily Pulitzer, which makes sense because it's a Target collaboration. But I thought this was pretty cute and I think it will look good with my skin tone and my hair. So hopefully that will work out. And then lastly, I purchased this scarf, which I literally had to physically push someone off of me that tried to like jump me pretty much to get this. Um, the fitting room person was bringing back a handful of scarves that people had just said I don't want it after trying it on. And this was one of the ones that I saw in the lookbook that I really wanted. It is like a sheer white with sort of this, it sort of reminds me of like a coastal peacocky kind of a print. Um, definitely coastal because that's the lily as you know. And there was only one of these that she was bringing back and I had my hand on the physical fabric and somebody who tried to push me and jump me had their hand on the retail paper tag and we both went to reach for it and we both pulled and she pulled the physical paper tag off like the tag like this off. So she ended up with this part and I ended up with the actual scarf, but I physically had to like push her off of me to get this. So I really like this. The price point was, I since I don't have the tag, I want to say this was about around $20. I think it might have been $20 on the dot. But I just really think it's cute and flowy, and obviously I have a scarf on now. But I think this will look really good with like a lot of my blue and pink clothing. And it's so lightweight that I feel like you could wear it in the summer as well. So that is everything I ended up getting. Again, I'm grateful for what I did get. I really wanted to get some beach towels, and then there was a uh, mug set that was in like a, a holder, like a coffee mug set. I wanted that, and I also wanted um, a couple of the smaller cosmetic bags, but again, I wasn't able to get it. I talked to the manager, and he said they were not going to be restocking because this collaboration is very limited, and once it's gone, it's gone. I've been told everything online is wiped out. So hopefully for those watching that wanted some Lily, you're able to get some somehow, whether maybe somebody picked some up for you or you were able to sneak in online last night and purchase some before it sold out. Or maybe you'll even get lucky in your local Target store with something that somebody returned that you can pick up. But um, like I said, the, everything was wiped out from housewares to beach stuff, beach bags. Everything was completely wiped out. The only reason I was able to get any of this is from waiting for the dressing room person to bring back and restock the things that people put back. 
and some things I had different items and then ended up trading them like I said to get these but that is what I got and I'm happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys had your own Lily experience today at Target I would love to let me love if you guys would let me know how yours was because mine was crazy so have a great day guys and I'll see you in my next video bye